Hello, this is Dr. Sass. And I'm Mark Netbecker. Uh, today we are reviewing Star Wars The Last Jedi. Star Wars The Last Jedi is the second installment of the trilogy of Star Wars films. Uh, sequel to the trilogy. The film that was released last year, uh, that is not a part of the trilogy. No, that's just a spin-off that takes place between episodes... Uh, between episode 3 and 4. Yeah, not to confuse anybody. But we'll get back to the film here. I think it starts off with Rey goes to uh, the island that Luke is on and she pretty much pesters him to come back to the Force. So he's like, can you come back to the Force? No. <laughs> no. Please? No. <laughs> please, no. please? No. <laughs> I'm too busy drinking alien camel fat titty milk. Oh god. That was a <laughs> shocking scene for the whole audience. Everybody wanted to know where that famous blue milk came from. There's your answer. Well, it's sort of like greeny, bluey colour, and I go, ah, unless they change it. Mm -hmm. And then he swings on vines like Tarzan. And we need to have a big close up of him drinking it. He's <laughs> like, mm, yummy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, he eventually agrees to teach Ren the, the ways of the Force. But it, the, the movie sort of um, twists and turns, like, he tries to teach her, but then she embraces the dark side. He goes, you didn't even try to fight it! <laughs> and then he runs away. Yeah. So... And then Ren falls into the dark side and it turns out it didn't change anything. Mm. It was just a bunch of reflections. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> a really good special effect. Yeah, it was interesting, but it had literally no relevance at all. The actual film, it's about the Resistance versus the First Order. There's a few things going on at the same time. While Ren is trying to convince Luke, we have um, the Rebels in their um, spaceship mm -hmm. uh, fighting. They're fighting the First Order. Somehow, the First Order are able to track uh, the Rebels. Yeah, they're able. They have like a, a hyperdrive tracking device on their ship, basically, and that's how they keep catching up to them. Yeah. So uh, they're having this fight. And uh, I I missed a bit of it. Uh, I was a bit late, but does it explain how the fight started? Uh, it's been a while since I saw the film, so forgive my memories a bit foggy. I walked in uh, to the it's cinema a, five or ten minutes after it, it just, started. It just it just starts off with the main pilot, the uh, Poe. You know, he, he he just drives up to the ship, and he's he's supposed to be sending that like a like a. Trying to send a message, but uh, he, he, he's like he's kind of having a he's kind of like doing a prank call thing with the with the first order basically, so the other rebels can like sneak in and try to drop these bombs onto the ship, which it does work at a time, but that caused a lot of people lose their lives apparently. And uh, one of the main characters, uh, Rose, the Chinese girl, yeah. who, uh, her sister, it turns out she was one of the pilots that dropped the bombs and. Uh, uh, she, or apparently that, that makes a big impact on her, basically. Uh, speaking of Rose, there's a lot of romance in, or potential romance in this film. Like you have Finn and Rose, you have Ren and Kylo Ren, you have Poe and the purple haired woman <laughs> who's old enough to be his mom. <laughs> Although I guess some people will call her Mel. <laughs> I say she looks good for her age, but uh, okay. I think she's that old for uh, Poe. Yeah, she was Vice Admiral Holdo. So what happens is um, Kylo Ren is he he's about to shoot um, his mom, mm -hmm. uh, Princess Leia, but then he, he stops, and then these two other ships shoot her. So then she flies into outer space, mm -hmm. and then somehow she's able to uh, use the Force yes. to get back to the ship mm -hmm. uh, and survive the vacuum of space. <laughs> uh, can you explain how she did that? I haven't a clue. I don't think anybody knows. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's a few plot holes in this film. Uh, speaking of which, the main villain is called... Snook. Snook. And I looked up on Wikipedia, I think he was one of the remnants from one of the wars in the past Star Wars films. Uh, I'm not too sure, but he is the all-powerful uh, leader of the First Order. 
who's commanding uh, Kylo Ren. He's like probably the most powerful character in the whole film. Snoke, because he's able to use how well he's able to use the Force. And pretty much everyone's frightened of him. For some reason, when Princess Leia goes back to the ship, uh, she's used all her energy, so now she's unconscious. So then uh, the purple haired lady, Vice Admiral Holdo, she's in command but Poe does not agree with her methods because it sounds like she's running away. He sends Finn and Rose on a mission to find this code breaker who will be able to get past the uh, sensors from the First Order. Mm -hmm. They're able to get onto the ship, uh, take down the tracker beam device that's causing them to catch up with the rebels basically. Mm -hmm. What do you think was the funniest part of the film? Funniest part of the film, uh, there was a few funny bits. Uh, I find it funny how the the middle-aged girl with the purple hair was so into Poe. It was like, um, there was two moments where she, you could tell she was like checking him out. And then at the end of the film, she says to um, Princess Leia, and she goes, I like him. Okay. <laughs> it's like, you know, she should, he's young enough to be your bloody son. Okay. <laughs> uh, I thought the funniest part was at the beginning when, I suppose, where the last film left off, uh, where Ray's giving Luke the lightsaber and he just <laughs> throws off the side of the cliff. Uh, <laughs> it, yeah. it pretty much it pretty much sums up like how much Mark Hamill does not give a shit anymore. Yeah, poor guy. It's changed since his since he was involved in Star Wars. But uh, that's why they killed him off, because he didn't want to be in it anymore. What are your final thoughts on the film? Um, I liked it. I, I know it may not be the perfect Star Wars film, not that everybody... There's, there's a few funny moments, like there's C, um, what do you call him, uh, Freefio? Yeah. Uh, he, he made a few cameos, and then there was R2-D2 with um, Luke showing, showing Princess Leia. Yeah, so it was like homage to the first film. Yeah. Then uh, there was Rose, who was like um, Finn's biggest fan <laughs> for some reason. Oh, you said the universe. Are you leaving? I can't let you. <laughs> she, she did act a bit crazy at the start. <laughs> well, she, I think she was intended to be crazy. Like She was, the, she was one of the crazy fans. Mm -hmm. Sort of like um, any real um, person obsessed with fa any fan fiction. Mm -hmm. But maybe they rushed that a bit too much, but I thought it was good. Overall, Mark, what would you give uh, this film out of five? Out of five, I'll just give it a decent... Yeah, yeah I'll give it a decent four. I'll be... I think I, I'll also give it a four to five. Uh, I'll not... Uh, I'll take one point off five out of five because it didn't blow me away. It was great, you know, it, it was great in a lot of places, but it didn't make me go oh wow, this is the best film ever. But I will say that it was one of the better films I've seen this year. Mm. So it is. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, uh, well, unless you're obsessed with the canon, like if you don't care about the lore of Star Wars, if you just want to see a good film, uh, this is a great film to watch. Uh, for all the family, though, kids get, get freaked out by the milk. <laughs> The, the Kai thing, Kai alien creature. But aside from that, it was great. And uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, all I can say about it. Uh, let us know in the comments below uh, what did you guys think of this film and what is your favorite Star Wars film? Or talk about any of the characters or anything that we forgot to mention. And that is all. So, uh, goodbye. Alright, take care. May the force be with you. <laughs> May the force be with you. That's, that's Mr. Spock you're doing there. <laughs> oh, well, they're all the same to me. Anyway. <laughs> uh, have a flame war against me in the comments because I just said that. <laughs>